we're here for the beginning of the season and now we're here for the end of the season. Talk us through the journey since your first race of the season at Brands and now being back again. Uh, yeah, emotional roller coaster, I'd say. Uh, once again, it's very similar to last year really, we've had some really big highs, we've won races, been on the podium and achieved some awesome things for such a small team, which we're really, really proud of. Um, but at the same time, we've, uh, we've made a few mistakes along the way and missed, a, missed some opportunities and got involved in areas we shouldn't have. Um, um, so, yeah, a bit, bit mixed. We certainly haven't... Uh, achieve where we hope to achieve in the championship this year but uh, on the other hand we've achieved the results the outright results that uh, we hope to re uh, achieve just you know just those low points they were very low <laughs> you say you've made mistakes obviously you learn from mistakes so what can you take from this year through to next year I've learned a lot this year you do learn from mistakes but uh, yeah, the championship's been very different this year, very different to last year and um, there's been an awful lot of um, quite aggressive driving and uh, carnage and with the grid being so big, big and uh, so competitive and let's face it, it is a world class grid, um, there's not a championship this, this close anywhere really, um, <clears throat> there's always going to be uh, some some shunts, you know, some, as, as we've seen in this first race here, if somebody has a bit of a spin up ahead, there's, there's then there's 20 cars still to come through and you can't get out of the way, so it quite often um, results in a bit of carnage. <laughs> you mentioned the high calibre of drivers on the grid this year. You are one of those drivers, I think, and as you say, you've had bad luck. Next year, do you think you can be in that top, top five, say? That's certainly a target. Um, to finish in the top six in the championship next year. I, th I think we've learnt a lot. Um, I've learnt a lot as a driver, we've learnt a lot about the setup of the car. We've made it stronger on the circuits that we're weak at and uh, we really think we've clicked on to something in the latter part of the year uh, with, with the suspension setup. So with the winter to develop that and we're very, very fortunate to have um, a two year contract with uh, our fantastic sponsors Exocet so they're very supportive of everything we're doing um, we'll be able to do some winter development and uh, hopefully progress again in those uh, on our weak stop spots and um, yeah I think top six is a realistic possibility this year uh, next year sorry um, a few I think I've probably given away getting on for a hundred points just given away this, this You're year. You're too generous Rob Austin, that's what it's about. Yeah, <laughs> I am too generous. You know, I want other people to have some points. But um, you know, that would have put us somewhere near there and um, I think next year that's re realistic and I'm very much looking forward to the uh, 2015 season already and you know, we're aiming to progress. We're, we're going to be here a long time and uh, I'm, I'm here to win it. <laughs> One year, eventually, I will win this championship. I love that positivity. Let's just quickly talk about Hunter Abbott as well. So good having him with the team this year. And how's that work? Do you reckon having that second car has strengthened the team as a whole? Yeah, I mean, he's he's a great guy. He's a brilliant character and uh, he's really become part of the team and I've really enjoyed having him as a teammate. And, uh, you know, he's quick as well, so he pushes pushes me on. So. Uh, we're, we're still working on our, our um, renewal for next year, but it's looking very promising and I'd certainly love to come back with, uh, with Hunter as well. Um, he's a real part of the team now and you know, we're a very close-knit team, so you have to fit in, you have to, you know, and he does that, so we really enjoy having him. I think you're the most generous and most positive member on the BTCC grid, I think, Rob. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not today. <laughs> not today, no. We've had a tough day. But uh, yeah, we, well, you've got to stay positive, haven't you? I mean, Jesus, if you, if you didn't look at the uh, silver lining around the cloud, then uh, in motorsport, you'd be a broken man. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>